This is Sung, and I'm the Principal and Director of Sky Academy. And um, what I want to do this episode is look at multiplication and division, or multiplying and dividing decimals. Now, when it comes to multiplying and dividing decimals, like addition and subtraction of decimals, most of this stuff, like 99.9% .9 of the time, you will be using your calculator, right? But this is a point more than ever where what you want to be doing is to see whether your answer makes sense or not. Because more, more likely than not, your, your answer won't make sense. So when you're dividing one number by a number, you'll be out by a factor of 10, right? So it's like the difference between, um, you know, being given change at a supermarket where your change should be 50 cents, but you receive $50. It's just, it's out. And you should be able to recognize that, okay? So let's have a look at how you might approach this. So let's do multiplication first. To multiply decimals, first multiply the numbers ignoring the decimal point, then insert the decimal point, the number of places that is the sum of the places being multiplied. All right, so let me go through that. That's pretty long and convoluted, right? But let me explain what that means, all right? Okay, so basically the first thing you do is you multiply four and two as though there were no decimal points involved. So four times two is eight. Now what you do is you work out how many decimal places there are. So you've got one decimal place here. So you've got one number after the decimal place is what I mean. One number after the decimal place. Here you've got no numbers after the decimal place, right? So basically what you do is you've got zero decimal places here, one decimal place here. So you want this eight to go to one decimal place. Right? So what you do is you go one decimal place in, so it's 0 0.8. Does that make sense? All right? So you go one decimal place in. All right. Let's have a look at this, uh, this question now. So basically what you've got is 0 0.4 times 200. All right? The first thing you do is 4 times 200, which is 800. Then what you do is you go one decimal place in, because it's one decimal place and no decimal places. So you go one decimal place in, and your answer is 80.0. Now 80.0, you can ignore the point zero, and your answer will just be 80. So let's have a look at this third one, right? This is where you basically need to take into consideration the fact that there's two decimal places here, and there's one decimal place there. So let's have a look at that one. 4 times 2 is 8. You've got two decimal places there, and sorry, you got you don't have two there. You got you have one decimal place here, and you've got two decimal places there. 1 plus 2 is 3. So you need to go three decimal places in. 1, 2, 3. And you put your decimal place there. Everything else you insert zeros in to make up those decimal places. Okay? Those placeholders, you put a zero there, a zero there, a zero there. So the answer would be 0 0.008. Got that? Okay, so let's now look at division of uh, decimals. All right. So the division of decimals will follow multiplication, but instead of finding the sum of the number of decimal places, what you'll do is, is work out the difference between the number of decimal places in the first decimal and the number of decimal places in the second decimal. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. This, you've got one decimal place here. So what you're going to do is divide by two, which has got no decimal places. So your overall answer will have a one decimal place, right? So 0 0.4 divided by two, four divided by two is two, and you're going to go to one decimal place because this zero won't affect the decimal places being uh, shifted. Okay, so you'll so this is one decimal place divided by no decimal places. Your answer will also be to one decimal place. When you're dividing by two hundred, I want you to notice that you're dividing by two, but then you're also you're dividing by two, but you're also dividing by another lot of a hundred. So you're dividing by two, and then you're dividing by a hundred. Now a hundred, when you divide by a hundred, you're getting smaller right? You're getting smaller. So what you're doing is you're shifting the decimal place, but making the decimal smaller and smaller. So 0 0.4 divided by 2, we answered, we, we realized that the answer was 0 0.2. But when you divide by 100 again, what you're doing is you're making the decimal smaller by two decimal places. 
and smaller is this way, not this way. Smaller will be one, two. So you, you fill in your placeholders with zero and you put your decimal, decimal point in your new spot. In this situation, you're actually dividing by two, but then what you're doing is you're dividing by 0 0.01 as well, okay? So dividing by two and then you're dividing by 0 0.01. So what you're actually doing is you're dividing 0 0.4 by two, which is 0 0.2, but then when you're dividing by 0 0.1, there's gonna be 100 lots of 0 0.1 in one hole, so you're actually getting bigger and bigger, right? So, you, when you're getting bigger and bigger, you're going back to lots of decimal places. You fill in the placeholders with zero, you put in the decimal spot, decimal point, um, so your answer will be 20 and not 0 0.2, right? So the answer will be 20, right? And if you think about it, that makes sense because you've got 0 0.4, which is 0 0.40, divided by 0 0.02. Ignore the decimal places. 2 into 40 would be 20 anyway, okay? So what you want to be doing is, is when you're doing these sort of questions, rather than working it out, what you want to be doing is seeing whether or not your answer makes sense, right? So when you've got a number like this, when you're dividing a smaller number into a bigger number, you want to get a, a, a small number into a bigger number, you want to get a big number, okay, another big number. When you're dividing a smaller number by a bigger number, when you're dividing a smaller number by a bigger number, in this case, you want to have a really small number. So, just have a, just, you want to, you want to be making sure that your answers fit into some sort of perspective, okay? All right, so I'll leave uh, multiplying and dividing decimals there, but have a look, make sure you feel comfortable with it, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.